Hey you guys, happy Monday. This is Fran. I'm sorry about my face. Uh, it's Carnival in Brazil, so I've been partying for the last three nights, which is kind of crazy. But this is like the best time of the year for us because we have like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday to party. And then we just go back to work on Wednesday in the afternoon. Yeah, and I'm by the beach, so that's why my voice is also kind of weird, you know, because I've been, like, partying a lot, basically. But uh, today's topic uh, came from an anonymous person, uh, and it's regarding what it is morphic disorder and eating disorder, and, and how to deal with this both disorders once you are recovering from an eating disorder. If you guys don't know what body dysmorphic disorder is, it is a disease that makes you have a distorted image of yourself. Like, you look at yourself in the mirror and uh, you see flaws where there are no flaws at all. I've been suffering with uh, body dysmorphic disorder and eating disorder for the same time, for 14 years. And uh, it's really hard because I've tried to fix my face with plastic surgeries and uh, for the first month after each plastic surgery I was happy but then I wanted to do everything again and I still have to see a lot of flaws in my face. And besides that I also have a lot of things that I hate in my body. So um, the root, besides you know all the background that I have with family issues and stuff that you know I always had to be perfect for my parents and uh, the thing of being a model and blah blah blah. Um, the root of my eating disorder is basically the looks. You know, I like I can't see myself in the mirror at all, and uh, I even make fun of me sometimes because I say that probably if I would see myself walking on the street I wouldn't recognize myself because I don't know how I look like really um, and once you are recovering from an eating disorder you know your body is going to change of course and uh, you have no idea how this is going to change and uh, it's something really scary it is scary because you don't know, you really don't know how you look like, you don't know anything about that. Um, the first thing I did when I left the first hospital was to cover the mirror that I had in my room. You know, I had a mirror right in front of my bed and I covered that because I didn't want to look at myself and I didn't want to, you know, see the difference that my body had. Like, I, I, I was feeling, I don't know, I, I, I don't even know how to explain that, but I wasn't myself, really, I wasn't myself, I was someone else, you know. Um, but we have to let that go, you know, because we have to remember that we are not body, but we are a person. And all these things, they have something that must be worked in our minds so we can accept the fact that we live in this body. We need to let go of clothes, you know, they're gonna start to get tight. And that's okay, you know, don't get fixed by like don't, don't get that fixation in a size or something like that. You know, sizes don't say anything to you. You are not a number. Try to trust the people that are around you. You know what I do sometimes, as I can see myself, and I see someone, like right now it's, we are by the beach, so I see people by the beach in bikinis, and then I look at my friends and say, is that girl skinnier than me, is she fatter than me, how can you compare myself with her? And then they say to me, you know, and uh, that's how I see myself nowadays, but I try to avoid the mirror as much as possible. I try to do that, to forget about the mirror. It, it is really hard, I know it is. It's like, it's one of the toughest things ever, 
but we have to do that and we have to try to focus on our mind and our health you know our body we like we are built in a certain structure and that's the way we should be you know we shouldn't have like bones sticking out because you know if we have a bone structure that's how our body is meant to be right so they shouldn't be sticking out anywhere so try to respect that you know respect your bones respect your body be healthy eat whatever you have to eat exercise the amount that you should you know try to do the things the healthiest healthiest way possible and um, don't focus on your a lot really work on your mind you know as hard as it is work on your mind because you know being skinny or having your body fixed with plastic surgery having a book job as I did you know having a nose job having this is not gonna make you happy no because there's something here inside your mind that is not right that must be fixed and this is how this is what you have to find so you can accept yourself and be comfortable in your body you know, you're only using this body to live to be in this life but you are not this body you are what you have inside your mind you are your soul so um, that's my tip that's what I can say to you I hope it helps alright guys so I hope you guys have a good amazing